Welcome to Broke Ass to Badass, where heart-led entrepreneurs learn to build the businesses and lives of their dreams with confidence, ease, and joy. This is the anti-hustle movement, and we're your coaches in badassery, Kimi and Pua. Find out more at bledigital.com, and wherever you're listening to this, be sure to click subscribe so you never miss an episode. Hi guys, this episode is a recording we just did in our Facebook group, The Tribe on Facebook. You can go there by going to bledigital.com slash tribe. We have a live challenge happening in there right now. You might have seen it. It's our Bold Badass Challenge. And we're going to be releasing each day of this three-day challenge right here on the podcast over the next few days so that you can follow along or you can join us in the Facebook group. But definitely take a screenshot if you're following along on the podcast and post it on Instagram at Broke Ass to Badass. We'd love to hear that you're participating with us. So this challenge is all about being bolder in your business and your life. If you felt at all like you're playing small or hiding or maybe not taking the bold action that you want to in your business and life, this is for you. Over the next few days, we're going to be stretching out of our comfort zone where the magic is in a fun and safe and supported way. So uh, get ready for more badassery and be ready ready to create some really amazing momentum in your business and your life. And we all also wanted to just take a moment to share a super important message. And that is that enrollment for our coaching program, Broke Ass to Badass, is closing in just a couple days. Uh, it closes on Wednesday, November 28th. So th- as you recall, this program includes eight weeks of training to help you create more time and energy and clarity and purposeful productivity in your business. Uh, we have modules dedicated to helping you get clear on your big vision, your mission, your vibe, your tribe, your offerings, your business structure. Uh, we actually walk you through simple, easy, fo- easy to follow trainings that teach you exactly how to build your website, rock it on social media, create an online course or membership site, and really just build a strong online presence. And we have mindset trainings in there to help you get out of your own way and stop playing small, as we said, help you to be bolder in your life which we're all working on. And of course, there are the group coaching calls and a private Facebook group with a truly amazing, supportive community. So you can find out more at brokeastobadass.com. This is your last chance to join before the end of the year. This is a really special round that is going to get you ready for the the best, most powerful year you've ever had. So don't delay. If you have any questions, reach out to us, uh, or you can come into the tribe and connect with us there and connect with others that have gone through the experience to, if you want to learn more from them. So again, you can go there by going to bledigital.com slash tribe. We can't wait to see you in there. Enjoy the episode. Okay. Here we are guys. For our day one of our three-day Bold Badass Challenge. Yay, we're so excited. Whether you're joining us live or catching this replay, welcome, welcome. We have some super cool content, super cool content that we're going to be sharing with you today. And uh, yeah, so first of all, let's just, um, you know, what what is this challenge? Let's set the scene in case you've missed uh, anything because there has been a lot going on in the online space. <laughs> and in case you missed any of the uh, invitations for this or the event, let's just set the stage and tell you what you're watching and what you're listening to. So this is day one of our three-day challenge, all about being bolder in your business and your life. And we're going to be sharing with you three days of content. This, if you've been um, a participant of one of our past uh, tribe challenges, we're going to be doing the same thing. So first thing you'll need to do is go and check out uh, the worksheet that's at the top of this page. So the worksheet is at the the top of the page there. It's pinned to the top as an announcement. But if for whatever reason you can't find it, just DM us. Uh, You can DM me and uh, or our brand either way and just send us a message and we'll shoot it to you if you can't find it for whatever reason. Um, But it's just a a link. It's a PDF that's attached to this. And then um, I think that might be the easiest way because we don't necessarily have like a direct link for it. But 
Uh, we'll start there. That's a good place because we are going to have some homework for you uh, every day that we do this. And we're going to have prizes that we're giving away each day as well. So fun stuff. And this is really just about uh, ramping up our bold badassery. Um, and yeah. Should we get started? Who's <laughs> <Liz> nodding? <laughs> okay, okay. So if this is for you, if you have ever <laughs> felt like maybe there are times that come up for you where you feel like you might be playing small. And what does that mean, like playing small? It means like we're hiding in some way or not taking some type of action in our business or our life. And right, we've all heard that saying that like <laughs> the, the magic is outside of our comfort zone. So this next three days is really about helping you to build up those muscles to step into a you know, bold badassery in your life. Why? Because, oh my goodness, the rewards are so juicy. <laughs> and this is like, it's going to be different for everybody. And today in this first day, we're going to be talking especially about like what bold looks like for you. Um, but this is just about like getting out of your comfort zone and what better place to do that than in this like we think of the tribe as like the safe nest of support and understanding that no matter where you are on the bold spectrum, <laughs> wherever you are in your bold badass journey, we are here to honor and support you. And again, this is going to look really different for everybody, but that's the point. This is about what bold means for you personally. So uh, maybe we can dig in a little bit into the, some of the housekeeping and like not that there's rules, but a little bit of the, um, yeah, like logistics. <laughs> the, I can't, I can't. This, I, I'm like, I keep scrolling up through the comments, but they keep coming in. And I'm like, I'm like, does anybody have a, if anybody has a question, can you just comment it three times in a row <laughs> so that it like stands out to us? Because I can't keep up. <laughs> but Jared, don't stop. I'm just saying, there's, <laughs> I can't find things. So uh, <laughs> someone said, rules, I quit. Elsie, rules, I quit. There's no um, rules. It is somewhere. You should just keep going. Okay. All right. So we're going to be going live here every day at 930 uh, Hawaii Standard Time. So exactly what time this is. If you are, uh, if you go to the event and you're, registered or RSVP for that event, you say yes or interested, you'll get the notifications. But know that this is going to be happening Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. And uh, as we said, there's going to be daily prizes. Your worksheet says exactly what our grand prize is, which is the, the, the $500 credit towards any of our BLE digital services, coaching programs, whatever. So um, that's super exciting, whether that be uh, you know creation of a website, an online course for you, whether it's joining Broke Ass to Badass, which enrollment, by the way, guys, closes on Wednesday. So uh, that credit can be applied to your uh, tuition. So yeah, super amazing grand prize. In order to be eligible for that grand prize though, you have to do your homework every day like good boys and girls. So uh, there's also going to be a daily prize. So we will announce the homework at the end of this. If you post in the homework thread, just like we did last time, right? So there'll be a homework thread saying what your homework is, and then you post that you did it and describe it, answer the homework, whatever it is, and then we'll announce the winner tomorrow So uh, or the day after. So today's prize is... A Starbucks gift card, ooh, ooh, because we love coffee. And uh, yeah, so we really recommend that you get a notebook for this because we are like use a notebook or journal or whatever you have, because we're going to have you do a little bit of bold tracking for this. And what's really cool is you're going to see by tracking the powerful results that you're creating in your life from the bold action and inspired things that you're doing. So again, track it, track it, track it. And also you're going to be tracking how you feel throughout this as well. Um, and we're going to start every day with a badass bold quote. So 
Here we go. We are officially beginning Bold Badass Challenge Day 1. Are you guys ready? So you guys get your homework out. Okay, you guys got it. Get your worksheets out. There's also uh, just a, a little bit of um, like, uh, what, do, what do you call it? Like there's little spaces where you can put stuff so that you can kind of track what we're following along. So keep track of the points and we'll we'll lay them out for you guys and then you can be taking your notes. Okay, so here's today's quote. Oh my God, I love this quote so much. Whatever you can do or dream you can, begin it. Boldness has genius power and magic in it. W.H. Murray. Although I will say that it's also attributed to G-O-E-T-H-E. I don't know how to pronounce that, but it's been attributed to a couple different people. So whoever said it, you're awesome. Uh, so the dictionary definition, I was like, we thought this was cool too. The dictionary definition of boldness is willingness to take risks and act innovatively, confidence or courage, or the quality of having a strong, vivid, or clear appearance. Okay. So boldness, boldness. We were thinking a lot in preparation for this of like, what is it about boldness and why is it such a badass trait? <laughs> uh, and, and really boldness is such a trait of, it's a trait of leaders, right? And it's a trait of definitely successful entrepreneurs and people that are willing to really stand out and be seen. Um, so what is a bold badass? We have a few sort of, you know, what, what we kind of feel as our definition of like bold badassery so that you can really feel into it and understand and know why you're doing this, right? So this is kind of like the big vision is like, why are we, why are we doing something <laughs> anyway? Um, and that'll help us to stay accountable. Okay. So Oh, I love that. Jer says boldness uh, is courage. Yes, so, so true. Okay, so what, what bold badasses do what? Bold badasses are not afraid to stand out in a crowd. Bold badasses know what they want. And because they know what they want, they ask for what they want. And then they're more likely to get what they want, right? Bold badasses are willing to be vulnerable. And that's a really scary thing. Uh, badasses are willing to let their authentic self shine in the name of service. Badasses are, because they're, they're being bold and taking risks, they're more likely to be in the like right place at the right time, which, you know, uh, I put right in quotes because um, that is, see, those are synchronicities that we create with our intention, right? Uh, bold badasses are, they tend to hear more yeses because they're willing to hear more no's, right? And they also have incredible self-awareness because they know where their bold edge is, right? So even all of you, you're here right now, you're thinking about what does boldness mean for me? What is edgy for me? And that is a sign of true self-awareness. And that bold edge is always going to be shifting and moving for you guys, right? So it's different for all of us. And, and with that is self-awareness. So badasses also, bold badasses also speak up for themselves and for, for others. Um, they are truly, as Elsie would describe them as way showers, right? Or change makers because they're willing to, to speak up and be bold. And this, again, this doesn't have to be about like being super loud. It's just about being willing to, to speak and, and say whatever you feel is on your heart. Uh, bold badasses um, really appreciate the value of, I'm going to use air quotes again, failing, right? We talk a lot about failing forward. And this is a, uh, uh, with boldness comes like that, that risky, that, that risky action or that courage. I don't want to say risky because risky sounds like scary, but courageous action that for sure, like you, there are things that might not work, but that's okay because you learn from them and bold badasses know that they're always learning, that there is no failure. There's only feedback. And oh, I love this too. Bold badasses really end up living lives that feel so good to them because they're willing to set boundaries, right? Like think about how much boldness it's sometimes required to be able to say like, 
hey, this isn't for me, or hey, I can't do that right now, or hey, I need some time for myself, or I need to draw this line right here. So um, what happens is the result is a life that really, that really feels good and feels in alignment. And the most exciting one that you're all going to experience just by being here is that boldness creates momentum in your life. Momentum, right? So think about your life and the ways that taking some type of bold action created momentum in your life for you. And that energy is going to be what, what uh, it's going to be like a snowball effect for you and your life. So that's a little bit of like setting the stage for you guys in terms of what bold badassery means to us and how we see it and why we see the are speaking about um, the value of boldness over the next few days. And now we're going to get into like the points of, of today's training because today's training or uh, challenge day number one is all about you defining what bold means for you. Sound good? I they said sounds good. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I am the voice of the people. Yay. <laughs> Just kidding. These I can see. Uh-huh. Okay. So point number one, do you guys all have your worksheet? If you don't have your worksheet, you're out. Just kidding. Grab your worksheet. It's somewhere in here. <laughs> I don't know where. Kimmy said it earlier. It's pinned. It's at the top somewhere. of the page. At the top. At the top. Pinned okay, at the top. So fill in the blank number one. This is something that we say – if you guys have done any program with us ever or listened to our podcast or done anything, it is slow down to speed up. And for this, so we just, we talk about this in our big vision. We talk about this in like all the things, but for taking bold action, this looks a little bit different, right? So to slow down to speed up for bold action, I think the reason why we're having this training in general is we all have bold actions that we want to be doing, right? And Kimi and I have said before, what's the difference between wanting to do something and doing something is the action. Why are we always wanting things rather than doing them? Because the action scares us, right? What keeps us from taking bold action? More often than not, it's it's fear or the perception that we don't know how, right? So first and foremost we need to decide what what bold actions light us up right and of those what is holding what what is the fear right what's what fears are you telling yourself are true that are keeping you from taking the action that's going to change other people's lives and change your life more often than not the fears are not what we think they are They're not as scary or detrimental or any of those things as we make them out to be in our heads. And the fear of not knowing how often it's, it, we make it a bigger deal, right? And we, if we just start taking the actions, we often find that it's, it's less work than we perceive. It's more fun. We're more supported than we think we are. And these are all things that we don't get to consider until we take the time to slow down. Right, so this this training is not about saying like, you know, drop down and give me twenty, and then go take the action. I don't care how you feel, just go. Like that's it, that's like some people's jam, maybe, but not ours. <laughs> so we want you guys to feel good about all of the actions that you're taking, and that means kind of sitting with what has been stopping you and working through that. Right. I think that's it. Awesome. <laughs> yeah. And, and tie it to the big vision of your life and your business, right? So what are the results that you're looking for in your business and how is that bold action tied to it? Because that's going to be the thing that really helps you to understand why you're doing it. If you don't know why you're doing it, you're going to be like, eh, maybe I don't need to do that thing today, right? But if you if it's really tied together to your big vision, you're going to be much more motivated and excited to give it a try. Okay. So point number two, point number two, and this goes um, hand in hand with your big vision. And that is to set a bold intention. And we love the word intention over the word goals. I mean, goals is good too. There's just like a lot of heavy energy around the word goals. And our society tends to make us feel like we can fail. (laughs) If we set goals, it's like, I had this goal and then I didn't make it. So I failed. And nobody goes around saying like, 
I failed at my intentions, <laughs> right? It's like an intention is just, a, it's a it's a target that you're trying to hit. It's like putting it out there. It's that idea of, of really um, feeling into where you're, you want your attention to go. And as they say, you're, where your attention goes, is it? Energy goes where your attention flows. So what is your intention over the next three days? Really sit with this for a second. What is your intention? What, how do you want to show up bolder in your life? How do you want to show up not just for this challenge? How do you want to show up for uh, your people, for your family, for yourself? What is your commitment and your promise to yourself for the next three days? Really take a moment to think about this. You can do this now. You can share it or you can just sit with this and really connect and see what comes up for you once you're done with this. But really take some time because there is so much power in intention. It's why we weave it into our weekly planning process. It's why you know it's so powerful to start your day with a really strong intention because again, whatever your intention is, that's where your energy is going to flow. Unmuted. Awesome. Okay. Point number three. It's in, it's in the thing. And now I will say it, create a bold list. So this is kind of like number one and number three. I think I may have uh, said this too early earlier, but it's so important to have an idea of where you're going, right? So what's that quote? If you don't know where you're going, any road will get you there. And part of this, it's, this is all connected, right? It's like your big vision, it's setting intentions, it's slowing down to speed up and it's being really, it's getting clarity and being really clear about what, where do you want to go and what actions will you take to get you there? So this is one of those things where you kind of work backwards, right? And we, we actually, recommend working backwards a lot if if it's either like where you want to be in your business in a year or how to set up an event like everything everything tends to make more sense when we think about what the vision is and what steps you need to take to get there moving backwards to the present day and the thing to remember about this is that end goal that end vision often does not turn out exactly the way that we envision it to be however the actions that we take to get there will create this new reality that's often better than what we envisioned, right? So work backwards, figure out what those those action steps are and make a list. So the thing that we love, we love to take, we love to take dust. (laughs) And uh, it's it's a brain dump, this particular dump that we take. Uh, So just like today, after you watch this, just start writing a list. List out all of the actions that that you want to take, that you feel like you could take. And the thing about this process is the, the more you write, the longer you take to do this, the cooler the ideas will you'll, you'll get. So don't write down just like one through 10, spend five minutes writing down action steps and be done with it. Like go for like 20 minutes, half an hour and try to get to a hundred. And you'll find that Items 1 through 10, 1 through 15, they're kind of those surface level actions that we think we need to take. Once you get to like 50, 100, it's things start to kind of come out of the woodwork and your your brain starts to create these new ideas and these new costs that we don't allow ourselves to get to that space where we can think of those things when we're in that very quick surface level brainstorming mode. So Give that a shot and really get clear. So after you go, you do your hundred or whatever it is, look through your list and highlight some of the things that you're like, okay, if I do this, like things are going to change. Try not to swear. Uh, And (laughs) I don't know, Facebook, do they care in a group? I don't know. Um, But it, the things that are like, I know this one, if I do this, things are going to move. This one scares me. Like, which ones, which ones freak you out a little bit? Which ones excite you? Which ones give you that feeling in your stomach where you're like, okay, I could do this. I, yeah, I could do this. I got the tribe behind me. I'm in, right? Highlight those. And then number four. Number four, accountability, baby. <laughs> okay, so accountability is the secret sauce, you guys. Most of us, as you know, we will, 
like many of us might go all the way to like a hundred, right? We'll create this whole list. We'll feel so proud of it. We're like, yeah, we're revved up. But if we don't take this extra step to tell somebody that we're going to do something off of this list, it might just stay in that journal, (laughs) closed up, just sort of sitting there, right? And that is, it's something that we don't want to like be hard on ourselves for, right? This is human nature. This is so common. If we've talked about Gretchen Rubin and her work before and how she says that the majority of people are what she calls obligers. They are typically will, will uh, meet external obligations rather than internal commitments, right? Meet external commitments rather than internal. So that means that we'll let ourselves down all day long, but not let other people's other people down. So when you have this list and you pick these things and over the next few days, this is such an important piece of it. You're going to share with the world what it is that you're going to do. Now, this doesn't have to be, you have, don't have to like stand on a mountaintop or, you know, s- s- say it on Facebook or where you can say it to a, some, somebody. You can message us, direct message us and tell us what you're going to do. The point is just to tell at least one other person hold me accountable for this. This is what I want to do in the name of service. This is what I want to do because I promised it to myself for this bold challenge. So accountability, baby. Oh, you like that journal? (laughs) It's my unicorn journal. (laughs) Uh, So, and actually this leads right into our homework. So, so let's, um, <clears throat> if you look down at your homework, and this is, we'll also be posting this in the homework thread. And by the way, guys, it's not too late to have your friends jump on board too, right? They, you can still have them join this challenge and uh, they can hop in. They can you just have them go to bledigital.com slash tribe. That's the easiest way to get here. And it's not too late. They can watch the replay and they can be your accountability buddy for this challenge because it helps so much to have a bold accountability buddy. So that's like part of your homework is find somebody, whether it be this group, whether it be somebody that, yeah, that's in the comments. I see people partnering already. (laughs) Pick an accountability buddy for this challenge and you're going to see that it just absolutely uh, transforms the experience for you. Because there have been so many times where Pua and I, we don't want to do something or we can, you know, there'd be a really good chance that we wouldn't do it. But because we've promised to each other that we would, that we actually show up and we do it. Okay, so here's your homework for day one. Uh, When you see this homework thread, you're going to share one bold thing that you did today from your bold list. Just one. (laughs) And uh, you'll be entered to win that Starbucks card and also entered to win our grand prize, okay? So uh, I want to share just one more thing about this that I've found has been working really well for me and just the way my brain works is the gamification aspect of this. So I've been practicing this bold challenge myself in preparation for this. And what I've been doing in my journal is having a bold tracker. So in my journal, I have like my, I have my big list of things that are bold and feel edgy to me. And then I've been challenging myself to do 10 bold things a day. Okay. So and then I write them down. And then on the other side, I write down the, um, you know, things that I've created from that boldness, right? So uh, for example, if I, like today, I went live sharing about uh, this challenge and then a few people came into our group from it, right? So it's like, what's the bold action? And then what's the thing that you that's created from that bold action? And basically what it does for my brain, uh, and maybe you can resonate with this, is that it like, gamifies it for me, right? So yesterday I was like, okay, man, I had like eight things that I'd done that felt kind of edgy for me. So I was like, okay, I'm, I'm looking for other things that I can do, right? I'm, I'm looking at that list and feeling like, oh, okay, like which, what's the next best bold thing that I can do? So it makes it a little bit fun. So try it out. And that's a really great way that you can use your journal through this practice. Totes. And, and it, this is a muscle, right? So Maybe today, if this is something, isn't something you're used to doing, your bold actions will, you know, you'll have a list of bold actions, right? You'll post them in the group. You'll take the actions. And our intention for this isn't to have three days of bold action and then you're back to the, the you of yesterday, right? Continue this on. So this week you, you take some actions, you see some progress, 
And as you continue to do this, the actions become bigger, right? And you become less uh, averse to taking bold action. So a month from now, two months from now, a year from now, every day you wake up and you're like, okay, what, what bold actions am I going to take today? Or maybe you don't even ask yourself that. Maybe you just get up and do it. It's a muscle. It's a habit. It's a ritual. So that's what this is about. So the more we can practice with this together, support each other, have the accountability to actually do the homework, do mm-hmm. take the actions, get the practice in. Like we don't, we don't even know how to describe how massively impactful this is going to be for you in the long term. And we're so, so excited for you guys to be here and to do this with you guys. So yeah, let's do it. Yeah. And you know what would be so helpful for the group too, because sometimes it's hard to know what feels edgy for us, right? And we can get a little bit stuck in our head as we're trying to come up with those things. So write out in the comments what some of your bold action items are going to be because when you share your bold list, it's going to trigger some ideas and inspire some bold action in other people, right? Like how often do we see somebody else being like, oh my gosh, I can't believe they're going to do that. And it makes us feel like, hey, I want to try that, right? So uh, share, share your, maybe like a few of the things off of your list. All right. (laughs) Laura Christine asked if you're on a workout ball, are you bouncing? (laughs) I'm not. I'm on a swiveling stool. Oh, maybe that's why. (laughs) Awesome, guys. Well, if you have any questions for us, definitely drop them into the comments. Feel free to direct message us, private message us if you have any questions or you need the worksheet or you need any support at all. We're just so happy, as Bliss said. We're so happy you guys are here. This is going to create some major bold, badass momentum in your business and your life. And we're here to support you every step of the way. She can't see the back of your chair. <laughs> oh, she's on a swivel stool. There is no back. <laughs> it's squishy. There it is. <laughs> Awesome. Yay. Okay, guys, we'll have a bold, badass day and we will be back here uh, 9.30 tomorrow morning, 9.30 for us, 11.30 Pacific, 2.30 Eastern. Boom. Got that time conversion in my head. (laughs) All right. Rock on, badasses. Bye. We hope you enjoyed this episode and we want to hear what your bold action items are that you're going to be doing. What's your bold list? You can direct message us on Instagram at brokeass to badass, or you can join us in the tribe, bledigital.com slash tribe. If you want to grab the worksheet to follow along with this challenge, we can't wait to hear from you guys. Go take some bold badass action and we'll be back in your ears tomorrow. Don't forget enrollment for our program closes in just a couple days. So go to brokeastabadass.com for more information.